What's up guys, it's me, Will. We're here to talk about Batman vs. Superman, the Ultimate Edition. Does it hold up? Is it better than the theatrical cut? I'm here to let you know. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's Will! Alright guys, I was clearly let down by Batman vs. Superman when it came out in theaters. And I'm gonna make a promise to you, the bitching about the movie stops after this. I, I went at it ad nauseum. I was even told by some people, like, oh, dude, let it go, it's just a movie. And it is, it's just a movie, but... It just sucks after something like Star Wars, something from my childhood, just came back, all kinds of nostalgia and all kinds of like awesomeness and did stuff so well to see something else like Batman and Superman, two iconic characters that have been done well uh, in cartoon form several times and that DC had the whole template to do this in their hands and ended up giving us this. It, it, it just hurt. It just kind of sucked. Definitely got me in the feels. I'm a bit of a fanboy. I, I wasn't attacking people about it because that's no way to act, guys. Like, the way DC fans are acting when people say they don't like this movie are ridiculous. I mean, you got open your eyes, folks. It, it wasn't a perfect movie. It's, it wouldn't be getting this 37 and even, like, I think a 70 last time I checked on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. It could, be, it could be higher. It could be lower since the last time I checked. But if this was such a universally well-loved movie, it would be getting 80s, 90s. It'd be up there with the Marvel movies. Like, Marvel would be shaking in their boots. And... I wanted to love this movie. A lot of people wanted to love this movie. But I'm done bitching about it after this. We're talking about the ultimate cut right now. First off, you know this is a three hour movie. It it kind of flies by. Not gonna lie, that first hour and a half, two hours flies by. Um, it just, a bunch of scenes in little 15 second snippets they took out. Makes sense. They put them back in the order they're supposed to go in. And it's like, why was that cut out? I know there was a gun in Zack Snyder's head, not literally, but like, hey, you need to cut this. We we can't put a three-hour movie out there. Well, you saw what happened with Watchmen. We're not going to make our money back. Ah, come on, Zack Snyder. What are you doing? It makes sense that he had to cut a lot of this stuff, but it doesn't. Like, some of the stuff he cut and some of the stuff he left in, makes it makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> That's not, not Zack Snyder's fault, potentially studio's fault, because the way they're making movies makes no sense. Um, we got a little bit. We get a few more seconds of Jimmy Olsen before he's mercilessly killed. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm a big Jimmy Olsen fan. And just like I would like to see Secret Agent Jimmy Olsen. Maybe there's like a one shot comic of this Jimmy Olsen somewhere if I want to see that. But it would have been cool to see him working side by side with Superman. Maybe he's like maybe he's like his Argus liaison. I don't know. That's just one cool way you could have used Jimmy Olsen besides shooting him in the head. I don't know. I just thought that was a bit not cool, and it, it, it's whatever. I mean, we end up killing, uh, what's her name, Mercy, uh, or, yeah, I believe it's Mercy, uh, Lex's sidekick uh, later on in the movie, too, but let's talk about some positives, because I feel like I'm being super negative right now. We get a lot more Superman. Thank God. Um, it's called Batman vs. Superman. You would think we would see more Superman instead of him moping around, and we get a lot more of him being Superman, being, like, investigative uh, reporter, Clark Kent, like... This is stuff I wanted to see. Like, I wanted to see him, like, bounce back and see if he'd learned anything from Man of Steel. And with the cut we got in theaters, it's it seems like it just took place yesterday. But, like, the cut even says six months later. It's like, six months later? Uh, after I've, like, made a huge fuck up six months later, I hope I've come back from that. Um, he still feels like he's doing the same thing, going through the motions and stuff and feeling sad. Granted, in this new world, I get it. Superman would be maybe a bit mopey. The world would be afraid of him, even if he was helping and being optimistic. The whole Christopher Reeve uh, saving people like in planes and trains, saying, oh, hey, this is the safest mode of transportation, or going, hey, I can't help right now. I can't talk to you right now, uh, cool guy. I gotta go save Lois Lane. Like, that would not work in today. And if it did, they'd be laughed off screens. It'd probably be getting even lower Rotten Tomato ratings. So, I get it. I get we needed a new take of Superman. And some of it I get it. It's a bit realistic, even though we're talking about an alien with all the powers. I'll put that in quotes, uh, but because Superman's powers have ranged from building walls with his eyes, to splitting up into two electric beams, to uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, it's a bit hard to make that guy relatable to a human. I get it. I just, I really love Superman. I'm glad we got to see more of him here. I'm talking about more about cutting scenes. Uh, I, I heard a major complaint uh, during the whole courtroom scene with uh, Senator Finch. Uh, after that whole explosion, people complained, well, how, come the, how come Superman didn't help? How come he just went off and ran off to the mountains or whatever? Literally seconds after that explosion, in the, this ultimate cut, we see him like helping and bringing people to the ambulance. I'm going like, why was this cut out? Like, I, I know it wasn't necessary to the plot, but like little stuff like that shows like, hey, this is the Superman you know and love. Like, 
He is willing to save anybody he can in this explosion. He's doing the best he can. He's he's not perfect, even though like Superman's presented that way. Uh, what else? We get um, so what else? We get some more Ben Affleck. But if you if you're into that, <laughs> I personally not. But you ladies, I know you're into that. A um, little bit more blood and violence uh, since this Batman's a little bit psychotic. I, I, don't get me wrong, I like this Batman. Uh, pretty solid Batman uh, cinematically. Uh, but he, he's a bit brutal. <laughs> uh, so, and you get to see like uh, in some of these fights more blood, more brutality. So, if, if you're into that, awesome. Besides that, it, it's essentially the same movie. This movie still has the issues the theatrical cut does. Lex Luthor, terribly miscast, or there's definitely misdirected. I don't know what Jesse Eisenberg is doing. Like, I don't know what version of Lex Luthor he watched, but this this is not Lex Luthor. Like. I hope that some of the rumors are true that uh, Lex Luthor Sr. is still alive and they, maybe they get Brian Cranston to like clean up this mess. Um, or maybe, I even joked, uh, we, uh, we saw that Ezra Miller tried to talk to Bruce in one of the many dream flashbacks. Maybe we get some Ezra Miller fixing the timeline with a Flashpoint experience in his movie. I'm not sure. It would be very cool if they did that just to like fix some of the mini issues. I mean, it worked for X-Men. It could work here. Um, but besides that, guys, I, I stick by my rating. Um, if you can find this cheap or like in a bundle with Man of Steel or something, by all means get it. But don't be rushing out if you didn't like Man of Steel or you didn't like the theatrical cut. But at this point, this is probably the only version of the Blu-ray you can get. So if, if you're if you're planning on getting it anyway, you, you're, it's a safe bet. But besides that, that's all I got, guys. So that's about it for me, guys. Let's hope Justice League is amazing because this is the only one strike for me from the DC Cinematic Universe. I know it's not universally loved, but this is the only time like they've betrayed me so far. So one strike so far. they got two more left. So, so that's about it for me, guys. What is your most anticipated DC Cinematic or DC EU movie uh, on, the, on the slate to come? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, when there's a will, there's a way. Thanks for watching.